This is our 1990 winner by John Paul, and the scriptural theme is the Annunciation. Again, this is in Luke's Gospel. The Annunciation is that moment in time where God intervened within humankind and asked a woman to be the mother of God's son, and Mary was the one who said yes. This is a, a very much the contemporary image. It's definitely got parts and, and symbolisms that um, have been involved in many different images that have been on exactly this subject. This subject it has been a very popular subject in Christian art, mainly, I suppose, because there's that extraordinary moment in time where a woman said yes to God. So we have some beautiful symbolism in here. The fish, Ichthus, is the Greek anagram to say Jesus, son of God, saviour, and yet alongside it lies a knife. So we're bringing together that naming of Jesus, but also the understanding of sacrifice. We have the dog. The dog is the symbol of faithfulness. And we have what I like to call in our fly-in, fly-out angel, heading off with the great news that Mary has said yes. We have this very Maori warrior-like angel, but yet when you go into the scriptures, every time an angel appears to speak to a human person, that person is told not to be afraid. It's an epiphanic moment, don't be afraid. So here we have a very scary looking um, angel Gabriel, and instead of it being an exterior moving out, as many of these images have been over time, this one seems to be drawing Mary very much into um, her domestic reality again, because this is a really serious domestic reality. Mary clutches in her hand a, a small bouquet of West Australian wildflowers, and that places this event as being relevant today to us here in Western Australia as it was 2,000 years ago in faraway Palestine. Um, it also has some lovely sense to it um, about the, the colours and the way that they draw in. Red is the colour of divine love. So Mary, in this instance and in many other um, various images of the Annunciation, she's usually dressed in red, that all-encompassing love of God that brought into humankind God's self in flesh and blood and that so deeply of God's love. Now, what about the perspective? Yeah. Mm, no. Well, the perspective seems to be, um, uh, well, adherence to uh, traditional um, perspectives does not seem to be um, followed. Um, it's uh, tending to add a little bit of confusion, perhaps intentionally, to the, to the subject matter. Um, it seems as if the, uh, the rug, in fact, is actually floating. Um, the flying cow, the flying cow yeah. idea, the magic of the moment. Um, I particularly, Angela, love the heart shape that here is described. Um, composition. I to hear this composition, heart shape. And none of this seems to relate to Mary's facial expression. Mary looks shocked, she looks stunned, she's been whisked off by this very scary angel Gabriel. So the viewer is left to ponder. Would you say yes? What does this mean for the rest of Mary's life? 